This guy got supreme palace. I got all the tattoos. Those are real tats? They're real tats. You can check them out. Look at that. Yo, what's going on everybody? Andrew Fung from the Fung Bros. I am here in New York City in Lower Manhattan right now. And this is a special episode of Fung Bros on the Street. If you guys do not know, between Soho and the Lower East Side, you will not see more fashion or streetwear than anywhere else in the world right now. It is crazy. And I'm here to ask the people of New York about their outfits, the culture, and everything in between. I want to give a big shout out to StockX for sponsoring this video and making it happen because they are the fastest and easiest way to buy and sell your gear, but more on that later. Right now there are so many people out and I just got to see what New York has to say about streetwear. What is the difference between a clout chaser and a hype beast. Cloud chase is just people that's just doing things for attention. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like hype beasting. It's like attention seeking. I think a clout chaser would be like they see like celebrities wearing it and if they have like the money like they'll do it just because like they can. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure the the cloud chasing is just you know what I'm saying, just being a groupie hanging around with celebrities, you know what I'm saying, trying to catch that that clout, you know what I'm saying, that they have, you know what I'm saying. Hype beast is just a person who not necessarily likes to get hyped items because they're not hyped for no reason, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe a hype beast is something similar, but in the sense like they have all like the new Supreme drops, like they have everything that comes out just like because they can. What's one streetwear trend that you think is hot? And what's one trend that you think is whack? I like the bulky sneaker trend. Like, I think those are dope. The hot thing, definitely the fanny pack. I mean, off-white is still pretty hot. They're always like, you know, they're always doing something cool. Definitely the new off-whites that just came out. <laughs> Balenciaga is super hot right now. I always think like the tucking of the sweatpants is kind of cool if it's done right. The, the trend that I do like now is kind of like the looser silhouettes, you know what I'm saying? People wearing baggier pants, bulkier shoes. I do like the dad shoe trend. I'm gonna say color. Like, the more color you add to a fit, the more it pops out. You go to Soho, walk around with more color, everybody's gonna notice you more, so I with that. I'm different, I like vintage wear. I like the 90s style, I like, that's the only thing that I feel like will never get played out. Everything else, out of One thing that's whack is like, straight up and down Supreme and all of that stuff. When I think that's whack, it's Supreme. I that I cream when I Yeezys, I hate that I think it's when you layer all the designer brands on top of each other, yeah. that just with big labels, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. And like one of the things that I don't like, I think I'm not a fan of the whole like all high end everything. Like people wearing all Gucci all the way down, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's still corny to me because it's like you're not really dressing, you're kind of putting on a uniform, you know? This might be an unpopular belief, but I don't like the Balenciagas. I don't know. I just think they're like chunky pieces of rubber that kind of look like Skechers when we were like six years old. I like I accept everything, and so that that's just my view on it. But just like don't hate, just okay. appreciate. Has anyone ever called you a hype beast? Yeah, yeah, it's, hype yeah, it's cool. Like. I mean, I, I like what I'm wearing, so what's up? I think I know the answer to this question, but who is the most hype beast out of this entire group? You just talk to him. I mean, like, you wear what you want. Like, if you like it, you like it. If it's a hype beast thing, whatever. Everyone's been calling me a hype beast for years. I don't really see it. I've been called, like, sneakerhead, hype beast, stuff like that. I mean, like, yeah, but, like, where I come from, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to South Jersey, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people have a lot around there. So when they see me, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of just like, Oh, hey, hi, what's up? Let's have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you know what I'm saying? I got a little beam, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stunning. He letting them know, man. Letting them know. Um, no. No one's actually ever called me. <laughs> I mean, I think I have, like, my own sense of style. You know what I mean? Like, I think I definitely dress, like, unique to myself. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing if someone did call me. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't take it with such a negative connotation. No. No, absolutely not, no. Tell me about your outfit. What are you wearing and how much did it cost? I got like this Carhartt, Carhartt American, that was like 20. Invicta watch, that's 1800. Yeezys, that's um, 300. You know what I'm saying? Got to deal with the blue tents, you know what I'm saying? I just got some regular um, American Eagle uh, jeans that I cut up for the off-white. Oh yeah. It was like 2.30. It was like 2.30, like said and done. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all that. You ever buy off resale and what do you usually buy? I don't buy resale. The only thing I've brought resale was the Yeezys and that was from a friend of my mom's because my mom is a cop. So you know what I'm saying? Like the other cops were like on that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you know, shout out to Bridgeton. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you mind real quick if I just bring up how much those uh, blue tin Yeezys would go for on StockX. You ever use StockX? Yeah, I use StockX. I don't use it. I just window shop. I've like used it once. I got a go t-shirts for 120 and I got spring back for 90 I got balance I got from straight from balance for retail Gucci belt yeah okay. 
Gucci gang? Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. All right, man, real quick, I want to go down, uh, particularly your outfit. How much did each piece cost and where'd you get it from? Retail, so this is like 60 bucks. Uh, my friends got these for me from off StockX. $15 from H&M. I got this for like 10 bucks at like some random store. Okay, cool. You said, uh, so do you buy off resellers a lot? I try not to, because that's where like, you waste your money. I try to be on the other end, like sell to other people and stuff. Could you real quick go down your outfit and tell us uh, where you got it from and how much it cost it? So this shirt is CDG. I got it from from Barney's, it was 100. The Supreme bag is from StockX, so shout out to StockX. It was 130. The off-white belt was 230. It was from Barney's. Um, these are just like made well pants. And the shoes are Nike collabs from Bodega in Boston. So shout out to Bodega in Boston. Cool. Do you remember how much you got those for? 130. Can I check on StockX? So I know you got that bag from StockX. When did you get it from? December. I'm going to see if the price has changed at all because you know Supreme has been releasing a lot of stuff so it's kind of like does it does it make the Supreme go up or down all right Supreme shoulder bag black you got it for 150 130 it is the last sale was for 160 yeah. what else is StockX good for seeing like the market price every time I go to a store the first thing I do is compare it to StockX it's usually like a little higher than market but um, I mean it's super easy for sellers I look at it but I haven't bought anything yet I like how they have the whole like market uh, theme going on like the stock market it's really really powerful but I also use StockX to check it more for Supreme accessories just to check how much the products are usually won't buy a flight club usually first check StockX first yeah I do I always check StockX prices to make sure I'm not like you know getting killed for resale. I use StockX for like knowing the prices of items if I want to pick one up or how much I should sell something for. And definitely guys, uh, as you guys know, StockX, obviously for buying Supreme in particular, it is like the best app to do that. Absolutely. It's like all authenticated and it's like you know you're getting the real deal. Yo, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video on what New York has to say about streetwear. Yo, it was dope going from Soho to the Lower East Side and I met a lot of interesting people and I heard a lot about the culture. It was a really fun video to do and I hope that whether or not you are into streetwear you found this video interesting big shout out to stock x for helping make this video happen they are the most trusted and fastest way to buy and sell your gear and clearly based on the responses a lot of people use it but it's not just for buying and selling it is also used for just checking prices so definitely check out stock x if you haven't it's a free app and it's got a lot of information the numbers are changing every day it's really interesting to me so shout out to them if you don't have the app i'll leave a link down below so you can click on it it's free so check it out in the comments Comments below let me know what you guys thought about the responses in the video and what is one hot trend that you see coming up I'd like to hear your thoughts all right everybody thanks for watching that video I'm Andrew from the Fung Bros and I'm in New York we out peace and I don't like the baggy clothes like those baggy sweats with the dash shoes yeah I don't like them. I was wearing that like I know uh, the I two weeks ago dude thank, <laughs> thank you for uh, hopping off your skateboard for this Oh, I thought that was Chad Hugo. He looked just like... <laughs>